what you guys got another video here for you the only security program you'll need this is probably going to be it avira prime offers you just about everything you can see here five devices for one year for 85 pounds and 99 pence or you can have up to 25 devices for one two three years or even one two three years for five devices depending on how many devices you've got in your home now, antivirus protection, protection in real time against malware and online threats, security updates, keeps all your software updated, secure browsing, blocked infected websites, secure price comparison tools, and also we have security for smartphones. True online privacy, unlimited VPN with this version of Vira Prime. Also, you've got privacy settings here for over 200 privacy settings and also password management built into this piece of software it also blocks a lot of telemetry and stuff from windows as well i'll show you all that in this video we've got speed and performance uh, tweaks as well for this particular software it is packed with features and we'll go through every bit of it so it's going to be a long one so buckle up and let's take a look so once you've purchased your avira prime you will get a an account which is for your dashboard here you can see here we've got your subscriptions your latest devices added support and your account you can opt out for the auto renew if you wish on this very simply inside this dashboard area now the version i've got here is avira prime and that means i get five devices uh, with my license because i bought the five device version which means i can install it onto five devices whether they be windows mac os android or ios i can install it on each one of those devices you can see here i will get access to all of the software here that i want to use so basically if i want to use vpn i can use it on all of those five devices and everyone's got loads of different devices in the home now whether it be mobile phones tablets mini pcs android uh, pcs mini pcs loads of people have got devices around their home and you can secure them using the avira prime package once you've purchased it also once you uh, delete your account here, so for instance, if you only want it for one year, if you've subscribed to one year and you don't want to renew and you want to delete your account, once you delete it, they will remove all of your information from uh, their database once you click on the delete account. You can also unsubscribe from the auto renew if you want to. And there's also this area here which gives you access to the knowledge database, community, my requests, email support, and phone support because you have got a paid version of antivirus whereas the free ones you don't get no support at all you've got dark mode and light mode here so whatever you choose you can uh, just toggle that on down the bottom left let's take a look at the actual software itself here okay so let's go through the actual software here there's quite a lot to go through so it's going to take a bit of time but we've got the security here privacy and performance it wants to run a smart scan so let that run or speed this up and it's just going to scan for a bunch of different stuff here very quickly you're going to get this window popping up with some fixing issues this is basically registry entries these are your installation entries installation folders these are all old folders that are not used anymore uninstallation uh, entries here and old firewall entries you can go back and you can see here there's browser cookies and a bunch of other stuff so you can clean this all out and fix it it's a little bit like ccleaner really it's just clean out all the junk and rubbish from the pc and that is added in this kit as well yeah it wants to restart i'll do that later but that is the uh smart scan there i just wanted to quickly run that so starting off on the security page here we've got virus scans so when i click on here it's going to give you full scan quick scan and manage scans also we can set up here a scan for a full scan so let me just quickly click on this and i'll show you also how we can schedule a uh, scan here so let's click on the uh, full scan here and take a look this box will pop up and this is their scanning engine so let that run i'm not going to do a full scan here i'm just going to show you exactly what it looks like so you can get an idea it will give you a report and then you can read the report and save the report and whatnot we've got a, a schedule here which we can set up for a full scan you can name it whatever you like frequency it gives you daily weekly monthly or none so depending on what you want to do you can set it up monthly is recommended and then it will give you a day whenever you want to run your scan which means maybe first of the month and then you've got a time 
So whenever you're not as busy on your computer, you can set it up to running a scan, a full scan of your computer on that day and that month and at that time. The quick scan is just similar to the full scan, but it just does a quicker scan. Now the engine they're using here is going to be the same for the paid version and the free version. You're not going to get any more definitions because you're paying money, but what you get is a lot of more added features and support and a lot of other things like no pop-ups, no adverts and stuff like that. So let's move on to the manage scans here. And this is where you can manage all your scheduled scans. You can click on these and edit them for whether it be local drive scans, documents, hard drive scans, rootkit scans, and so on. You can change all these settings inside here if you want. And of course that gives you a bit more control. Okay, so let's go back here and then go back into the security tab. And we're going to take a look at the protection options here. Inside here, we've got full range of protection. We've got real time protection here. This prevents viruses from making changes to your device. You can toggle these on and off. We've got web protection here as well. You can edit all of these little areas here just by clicking on the little cogs. And this will open up a little box which gives you uh, access to here. So you can see here under the uh, web protection here, we've got firewall. And this uses the built-in Windows firewall. It doesn't have its own firewall uh, built in here. Not like Norton 360 would have their own personal firewall. This uses the Windows built-in firewall. And uh, again, you can make changes inside here uh, by hitting the changes and stuff like that. You still get control over what goes in and out of your computer. It just uses uh, the built-in Windows firewall functions. That's all. So you can see here you can add rules application rules and other stuff like that. That's under the uh, web protection here as well. And underneath the email protection, if you click on this, it'll open up the same box, just drops down the top. So you can see here, PC protection, internet protection, and then we've got mail protection. It's just going through the little tree here, um, as you can see. So basically you can set this up and add in your mail protection for your emails. And uh, again, this gives you exceptions and other bits and pieces like that. So you can add them in here if you've got an email client that you use and you want protecting. Ransomware protection, same sort of thing here. We've got another toggle switch here, and this will stop ransomware from hitting your system. Now again, moving on to the next section, we've got quarantine. This will be your quarantine area where all of the viruses that show up will be in the quarantine area. We've got software updater. You can find updates for software on your PC run that scan and basically what it's going to do is find any sort of updates for software on your system. And now if you've got loads of uh, updates available, uh, you can then just do the auto update and it will automatically update these, but they show up green here when they're already updated. But if you've got a long list of programs and stuff like that, they will say they need update. You can toggle on the auto update if you want and you can automatically click on this and they will get updated or you can update them manually yourself. So let's move on to the firewall section. I just wanted to quickly show you this bit as well. You can see here under here, we've got public and private. If you click on this, it will automatically change it to whatever you need inside your Windows section. If you go into your advanced section here, this will open up the Windows uh, Defender firewall. This is basically built into Windows 10 and it uses that uh, for its firewall. And again, you've got inbound rules, outbound rules, and you can set these up to whatever you need inside here. And uh, if you're not familiar with this sort of stuff, then you probably best leave this well alone. Uh, it should take care of itself, really. But if you're a bit more advanced and you want to delve in a bit deeper, then you can do. There's that option available inside there. Um, but you can access all of that from inside Windows. Let's move on to the privacy area and take a look at browser safety here. This can block tracking and ads on Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and Opera. You can open this up, click OK here, and this will open up a browser to, of your choice, what you're using. You can use the Avira Safe Shopping, and that's a, a little add-on. You can click on Get here and add that to your system, and that will be on your browser. So depending on what uh, browser you're using, you just add that to your browser. That's under the browser section there. Then we've got VPN, and this is the VPN, uh, VPN section here. And uh, this will uh, we'll take a little bit more look at this a little bit later on in the video. Um, but we've got passwords here. This is for your password management uh, set up here. So if you've got passwords here, you can open this up 
and put all the passwords for all of your uh, sites that you go to, what you frequent, regular, and you won't have to remember those passwords. It should manage those in there. Next, we've got the file shredder. And again, we can click next here and I'll show you how this works. Basically, you've got add files or add folders, depending on what sort of files or folders you want to shred. You just click on the file or folder, click open and then click shred and it will uh, shred that beyond recovery. You won't be able to recover that using data recovery software and it should then erase that from the system. So if you've got some sensitive information on there that you want to destroy, you can use the file shredder. Next up, we've got privacy settings here. This will be for your Windows settings. So you've got recommended here, all uh, important settings chosen by experts. That is by the uh, Avira experts. And then you've got custom, which allows you to do it yourself. Block uh, ads tracking, disables location tracking, and make sure activity private. So you can apply that by the recommended settings here. Or if you want to have a little delve in here, and have a little look at the custom which I want to do to show you. You can see here, this covers all of the uh, telemetry uh, data collecting that Windows 10 does or Microsoft does on your Windows 10 based system. You can see there's a big long list of them here. I'll go through some of them here. You can see OneDrive, you can see a bunch of other areas under here. You just pull these down and it just shows you exactly uh, what uh, you can actually block. Uh, manually now you can do this with other software as well but this is all built into the avira prime which makes it a lot easier to do it's one program that does all of it now if you hover over these it does tell you a little bob bubble will pop up and it say this prevents sending data samples to microsoft active protection and basically you can put ticks in what you want so don't send error reports uh, disable system settings for download mode uh, postpone Windows updates. You can do bunches of stuff inside here. What you would normally do with a lot of other programs on the internet, you've seen me use those on my channel. It's actually built into Avira, which makes that really easy. You have to restart when you make your changes. I'll quickly do that and quickly show you. So I did the Windows update here. Let's go over to Windows update and take a quick look. It's probably going to just set a policy, just like group policy would, but it's under one hood and you can just literally uh, select those for yourself and you can see here some settings are managed by your organization and that's what that's done there so basically you can set these up telemetry and your user experience loads and loads of stuff inside here OneDrive you can apply all these settings and it will take care of them for you the good thing about this is it says recommended enhance current default custom and last changes so you can also which is really good with the software is you can reset it back to default settings if that's what you want to do here. So switch to recommended or you can restore uh, back uh, to defaults. Also, we've got uh, Opera Secure Browser here. Again, you can agree and install that here. Let's move on to the performance tab. Under the performance tab, we've got a bunch of other settings here we can mess with. Optimizer, free up space, speed up your device and maintain your device. So let's do a quick scan here, I've speeded that up for you. Basically, it's gonna remove any sort of junk and cookies and rubbish from your PC, just like other programs do, which you can download and install on your PC, but it's under one hood, so you can do it all through Avira Prime. Click cancel and go back here, and we'll take a look at the battery saver. Underneath the battery saver, this will let you mess around with your power modes. You can do this inside Windows, but Avira have added it into their program. You can do power boost, which is best performance. A bunch of other settings up here. Startup optimizer, you can enable the start dash timer tracker and a bunch of other settings inside here. If that's what you want to do, you can analyze as well. There's an analyze button which will analyze the system and uh, that also gives you bunches of options inside here. This is where you can access the GUI interface of it all here, makes it much more easier to see. And again, we've also got under the scan area, automatically optimized device. Again, we can go into here more deeper and take a look at the cleaning options here. So you can ignore files that are created within 30 days, create a restore point, show more advanced settings inside here. You can uh, add additional scan locations as well and uh, bunches of other options available in here. They've really added a lot of stuff 
into this Avira Prime program. So you can see here, auto, auto optimizer and a bunch of other stuff here. Let me just go through his, this quickly so you can see some of these settings here, what it actually does. And of course you can add more in if you wish. And we're going down to exclusions. If you want to exclude any files or folders, again, you can add that in here by just adding them into this section here. Registry keys, cookies, startup entries, any of that sort of stuff can be added there. Uh, performance booster, again, enable performance booster. And we're going to go through the next section, which is reset all your settings. So this is really a good feature, which means if you've messed something up and you're not quite happy with it, you can always go back in here and reset all of your settings. Under the tools area here, we do have some other areas which we can take a look at, which is, let's just take a look at the maintenance area first. Under the maintenance area, you can see we've got bunches of stuff here. Uh, disk storage space, disk doctor. Let's just start this up and you can see. So Avara system speed up. You put the radio dot in there and push check and it will start checking your uh, drive and see if it's working correctly. Also file encryptor. Again, this is encryptor and decryptor. You can find the file and uh, encrypt and decrypt that file by using this feature here. Let me just uh, close that area off and take a look at the next area. Service manager, click yes and open this up. And this gives you access to the service manager. And again, we can start and stop these uh, which suits our needs. So if you find one here, you can literally click on this and click stop or start, and it will stop and start that service. Okay, so back to the maintenance area, we've got fixed windows issues. This is really just a shortcut link to the troubleshoot area on windows. When you click on it, it takes you here and basically you get access to all the troubleshooting tools inside windows. Manage extensions, again, you click on this, click yes, and it's gonna take you to the Avara system speed up area where you can manage uh, this area here as well. You can export list, remove item and refresh. Inside the driver information here, this lets you see basically uh, a detailed performance information and see what versions are running on how much RAM they're consuming as well and prevent software or hardware issues. And this gives you full information on that driver there. Under the backup and restore area here, you can back up and restore files and folders. And this goes to the file history section here. And let me just show you the backup and restore registry. So you can back up the registry from this location. Now you can do these inside windows, but this program just makes it easy for the beginner who wants to just quickly back up the registry. If you're not familiar about backing up and restoring registry, then that can be a bit uh, troublesome. Whereas this program allows you to quickly back up the registry and then also it puts it in a particular location, as you can see here, backup registry, and you can actually click on this here and this will allow you to then restore the registry uh, as well. By clicking on it, you can see here I've got restore now and also remove selected. If I want to remove it, I can now delete it and remove it. If I want to restore it, I can restore it. And I can continue to back up the registry via this method. Makes it a lot easier for people that I'm not familiar with that sort of stuff. Back up and restore MBR. This is quite useful as well. You can see here, gives you the ability to load a backup. You can back up MBR, which is your master boot record, or compare the backups to what you've got there already. So very useful indeed. And that's under the uh, maintenance area as well and tools. And again, we've got another area here, which allows you to fix uh, damaged network connections. And you can also fix LSP and also back up LSP and remove selections of files. We also have system restore here and we have recover files. So if you want to recover files on your disk, uh, some files may not be recoverable, but it does give you that option there as well. And uh, this gives you system restore. So we haven't got any system restore points, but you could do by restoring from here and also making system restore points. And uh, let's take a look here as well. Improved performance. Under the improved performance area here, we've got disk defragmenter. Also, we've got areas here which shows you the process manager, network traffic manager. Okay, so we've got registry defragmentation here. 
and uh, this will basically defrag your registry and uh, compact it basically and uh, defrag it and sp supposedly make it faster but that is built into the program as well and uh, i'm not a big advocate of these sort of programs to be honest but they're built in there and i suppose they're just trying to give everyone the option to have everything they want under one hood we've got game booster here again i don't know how this works uh this should be a case of adding your program in by clicking on the plus sign here and add your program and apparently it's going to boost uh, your game uh, make it smooth and we've also got context menu optimizer again you can optimize your context menu here you can export list remove item and so on under here and uh, basically yeah these are under this section here and uh if you if you like using those sorts of programs and use them on a regular basis, they are built into a Vira a Prime. Uh, also, we've got software uninstaller. Again, this is a feature that's added in here. So if you need to uninstall something, you can click on the program you want to uninstall and away it goes and uninstalls the program for you. Again, you can do a lot of this stuff inside Windows, uh, but again, it's under one hood. That's basically where it's recently installed and also large apps. Uh, Windows uh, Store apps here will be stored here. Windows updates, if you need to uninstall an update, you can do by doing this, which is quite a nice little feature here. You can again do this in Windows, but it's all in one area here. System components, again, you can remove these here. And all apps is under the all apps section here. So that is the uh, uninstaller area. So let's go back. And again, we've got them all in this nice little area, like so. Uh, drive wiper and also find empty files lo find large files and also we've got duplicate finder which is basically find duplicate files so if you've got a lot of music and, or movies or whatever it is you've got on your system and you want to see if you've got duplicate copies of it which takes up a lot of space you can use the duplicate file finder and basically that will find them and then you can remove them it's that simple that is under there. There was quite a lot to go through under there. There was quite a few programs they've added in there. But I wanted to give it a good coverage. So that's why it took so long. And if I skip through it, someone will always say, uh, why didn't you cover these tools here? So I wanted to cover those for you. So let's go back to the main menu here. Now, if you're looking at the advanced tools here, that is the section we've just gone through here. It's just we went through it in a different way. But basically, this opens up this area here and gives you full access to all of this. So it's under the advanced tools. OK, so just in case you wondered how I got there, that's where that is there. OK, so let's go back now and we're going to go back and do the VPN test here. I just wanted to do that just to show you what the VPN is like and talk about that, because I think that's what's going to interest a lot of people. So VPN is off at the moment. I'm just going to connect to it and it will go to the, my nearest location and try to find the nearest location to me and connect to it. And uh, hopefully we should get connected. There we go. So we are now connected. And if I look at this here, it gives you a full list of all of the servers that they have. Now they do have quite an extensive amount of servers inside here. And uh, basically you can connect to any one of these. Obviously you want to be as close to your uh, country as possible. Let's do a quick DNS leak test here. I'll do an extended test so you can see basically how that goes. And that's good. It's not detected my main connection that I'm on, which is Virgin Media. So it's not connected any of that. It's not leaked anything. So let's go back and we'll do a speed test and find out how that goes. I'll do two different speed tests just to make sure that they're both similar. And this is the download speed here. So this is not quite the full download speed I get. But again, this is unlimited, unlimited VPN uh, usage. You're not going to get capped or anything. On lower versions, you do. But on the uh, Avira Prime version, you don't get any sort of caps on data or anything like that. It's unlimited. So pretty impressive scores there for the speed. And you can see it's saying it's very fast. So I'm pretty impressed with that. So let's go ahead and do another test just to make sure that uh, the results are similar. Let's go ahead and run this test here. Now they do vary in speeds every time you run these. So just again, trying to give you a rough idea of what to expect. And again, this is connected to my nearest local area, which is London, which is where I'm living. So it's basically in my location. 
and we'll do roughly another scan here to do uploads and let that see what that goes like and we're getting 10 milliseconds here so not much difference between the two so those speeds you're seeing there are pretty good enough it's all going to come down to your internet connection what you have at home if you've got a really rubbish internet connection then using a vpn is just going to make it even worse but again if you've got a really good internet connection you should get pretty good speeds like this and uh, that should be good enough again about their data collection or logs or anything like that you can see here it says that they don't collect any data about the websites that you visit and again you can come down and read uh, the retention period here no data is stored the master data is deleted after the following events in accordance with legal requirements and deletion of the account by the holder so that's basically it there so you can read all up about that on their website if that concerns you now, if you're wondering where this come out in uh, the antivirus testing you can see here it gives you a full blow for blow exactly what this antivirus software does and i'll leave the link in the video description so you can read this in more detail because there's quite a bit of information on there i'm just going to quickly touch on this so you can see it but it did have quite a good results now if you're wondering what the differences are comparing these against other security bundles you can see here Avira's Antivirus Pro is £29.99 and Avira Internet Security and Avira Prime. These are the differences you can expect. The virus definitions are the same across the board. You're not going to get any more uh, difference in virus security when it comes to scanning. It's just features and stuff like that and support. That's what you're going to get. You're going to get a load of PC tune-up tools and other bits and pieces like that on the Avira Prime whereas on the other versions you don't and it comes down to whether you want to use these features features like a VPN unlimited uh, virtual private networks which is your VPN you'll get unlimited usage on that on the uh, prime version whereas you don't get it on the other versions at all so you can see here software update and a bunch of other bits like uh, antivirus protection and things like that it tells you exactly what you get there on the website so what do I actually think of the software? What is my personal opinion? Well, there's a couple of cons and pros here. Let's go through these. The pros are, I would say, there's no limits to the VPN. It's an unlimited VPN, which is pretty impressive. And the speeds are pretty good as well. It does come with a comprehensive system optimizing toolkit built into the actual software there as well. And you've got excellent scores for the antivirus test lab results there which I'll put the link in the video description. You can check those out. It's fully compatible with Windows, Mac and iOS and Android, which makes it really good as well. Got low system impact and fast updates on this software. And it's very user friendly, as you can see by the video. The GUI interface has a nice, fresh look to it. So let's have a look at the cons, what the cons would be for this. I suppose really uh, looking at it, uh, the paid version isn't much more better than the free version, apart from you're getting tons of different uh, added features on it. So you're paying for those features, a VPN and also optimization tools and stuff like that. You're getting all that thrown in, password managers and stuff. Whereas on the free version, you just get protection. But the detection rate is exactly the same. So if that's a deal breaker for you, then go for the free version or the pro version and save a lot of money. But if you want all of the features, then by all means, go for the Avira Prime. Uh, you're going to save out there. Uh, the free version doesn't provide any sort of customer support as always with free you are uh, the product you know what i mean basically they're just going to get bombarded with ads and stuff like that so there's a plus side to the pros on there for that piece of software so i guess really you just got to work it out for yourself uh, whether this one is for you or not i think it's a pretty decent bit of software you're getting quite a lot uh, for your money what you've got to work out is whether you need all of those features or not if you don't the protection is going to be the same whether you're using the free version or the pro version. You're just going to get nagged a lot with the free versions. The £29.99 version, which is the pro version, that's going to get rid of all the adverts. But again, you will have the same protection as this version, but you won't have all of those added features. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. Don't forget, I've got a PC build video coming up this weekend, so stay tuned for that one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Have an awesome weekend. Take care. Bye for now.